you mentioned uh, the need of uh, perhaps supplementing with electrolytes in the in the early phase yeah. of a keto diet. Uh, do you think there is need for other supplements, nutrients that may be lacking on a keto diet? Yeah, I, I do. After looking at a lot of blood work, uh, especially in kids that are that are drinking ketogenic shakes like keto cal, these medical shakes are mostly like dairy fats. And I'm a big advocate of formulating a ketogenic diet from real food, from whole food, I think is uh, has many advantages. One is that it can prevent nutrient deficiencies. So the things that in the literature are selenium, uh, there's a couple of cases, there's some literature to suggest that the ketogenic diet can deplete selenium. But if you're eating things like fish and, you know, animal products and, and eggs and things like that, I don't, I do not think selenium's, I've never seen my selenium level low and I haven't seen it only in people that use these medical ketogenic diets that are drinking these shakes and, and other, you know, uh, just a high dairy fat. Uh, I think dairy dairy can be okay, but it has to be a bit more of a balanced approach. Carnitine. So carnitine pretty much always shows up low in kids. So that that is an indication that your body is burning so much fat, you are transporting so much fat into the mitochondria, and your body is a fat burning machine. And one of the carriers for fat is carnitine, and it tends to be pretty low in kids and they'll, they'll have fatigue and brain fog and things like that. And we supplement like carnium uh, tartrate, I think. And there's a couple of different forms of car uh, carnitine. There's uh, acetyl L-carnitine and that can cross the blood brain barrier. I supplement with that, uh, but carnitine and selenium. And then I, I'm a big believer in, in electrolytes like magnesium, potassium, sodium and calcium too, you, you tend to, um, calcium is a pretty strong buffer and that can help, you know, uh, offset the mild metabolic acidosis that does occur, you know, with a ketogenic diet. So, uh, ketone salts are, you can, you can take a ketone supplement and beta hydroxybutyrate can be ionically bound to an electrolyte like sodium beta hydroxybutyrate, sodium or potassium beta hydro. So the ketone salts can be uh, can elevate ketones and also give electrolytes. There's an electrolyte product called Element that Rob Wolf makes. It's L M N T. I like that. I use that. Or you can just put a lot of salt on your salad and <laughs> take a magnesium supplement, which I do. You know, before bed it has a relaxing effect. So I, the, the three things that I see on blood work is low magnesium, sometimes low sodium, low carnitine and low selenium. So these are things I tend uh, to tell people to supplement. If you want to bring the science of food as medicine into your kitchen, check out my new course on diet and gene expression at dotoraronica.com or using the link below this video. I hope to see you there.